This is the Music History Today podcast for April 13th. On today's show, Handel's Messiah premieres, the Beatles record yet another classic, and a Broadway musical closes. First up, though, on this date in 1959, Ronnie Hawkins recorded his song, 40 Days. In 1962, the Beatles started their 48-date residency at the Star Club in Hamburg, Germany. In 1965, the Beatles started recording their song, Help. In 1966, the Beatles recorded their song, Paperback Writer. In 1969, Diana Ross performed on television as a solo act for the first time. In 1979, David Lee Roth collapsed on stage during a concert in Spokane, Washington. In 1987, the Mexican chumbia band Los Tucanes de Tijuana was formed. In 1996, Rage Against the Machine were thrown out of Rockefeller Center after doing a protest during their performance on Saturday Night Live, where they attempted to put upside-down American flags on their amps. They played their first song and then got thrown out of the building. In 2009, Phil Spector was found guilty in the shooting death of actress Lana Clarkson. In 2015, Charlie Puth and Wiz Khalifa broke Spotify's record at the time for the most streamed song in a day in America when their song See You Again was streamed 4.2 million times. In 2017, musician Jesse Giddings married actress Hannah Simone. In 2019, BTS became the first K-pop group to perform on American television. And Billie Eilish became the first artist born in the 21st century to hit number one on the American Albums chart when her album, When We All Fall Asleep, Where Do We Go, hit number one. And in 2020, Andrea Bocelli performed an Easter concert in a cathedral that was empty due to COVID lockdowns in Milan, Italy. In classical music in 1742, Handel's piece Messiah was performed for the very first time. We discuss this particular event more in depth on the Music History In-Depth podcast, which drops on this network actually right now. In 1896, John Philip Sousa performed his piece El Capitan. In theater, in 1957, the musical Shinbone Alley opened on Broadway. In 1961, the musical Carnival opened on Broadway. In 1980, the musical Grease closed on Broadway. And in 1992, the Broadway show Two Trains Running opened. In award ceremonies that were held on April 13th in 1957, My Fair Lady won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. In 1958, The Music Man won Best Musical at the Tony Awards. In 1965, The Beatles won at the Grammy Awards. In 1970, Tammy Wynette and Merle Haggard were among the big winners at the Academy of Country Music Awards. Albums that were released on April 13th include in 1970 when Diana Ross and the Supremes released Farewell. In 1973, David Bowie released Aladdin Sane and Michael Jackson released Music and Me. Also in 1973, Roger Daltrey released his solo album Daltrey and Bob Marley and the Wailers released the album that put them onto the world stage, Catch a Fire. In 1978, Aretha Franklin released Almighty Fire. In 1979, Thin Lizzy released Black Rose, a rock legend. In 1981, Billy Squire released Don't Say No, and The Church released Of Skins and Heart. In 1987, Carly Simon released Coming Around Again. Johnny Cash released Johnny Cash is Coming to Town. And Fleetwood Mac released Tango in the Night. In 1988, The Cross released Shove It. And Glass Tiger released Diamond Sun. In 1993, Chris Isaac released San Francisco Days. And Warren Zevon released Learning to Flinch. And Bruce Springsteen released his In Concert MTV Unplugged album. In 1995, Desmond Decker and the Specials released King of Kings. In 1999, the Ataris released Blue Skies, Broken Hearts, Next 12 Exits. The Jelly Bricks released The Soap Opera. Rick Springfield released Karma. The VH1 Divas 1999 compilation album came out. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers released Echo. Bruce Springsteen released 18 tracks. 
The Who released 20th Century Masters, the Millennium Collection, the best of The Who. And in 2012, Bruce Springsteen released Collection 1973 to 2012. Singles that were released on April 13th include in 1967 when The Temptations released All I Need. In 1973, David Bowie released Time. In 1975, the Patti Smith Group released Gloria. In 1979, Donna Summer released Hot Stuff. In 1998, Madonna released Nothing Really Matters. In 2010, Sia released Clap Your Hands. In 2018, Little Pump released Esquitit. Kylie Renee released Tangled, Juice World released All Girls Are the Same, and the reggaeton superstar lineup of Neo Garcia, Darrell, Casper Magico, Nicky Jam, Bad Bunny, and Ozuna released the song De Bote, the remix. Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on April 13th include rapper Ty Dolla Sign, singing icon the Reverend Al Green, singer and actress Allison Williams, Aaron Lewis of the group Stained, Wayne Lewis of Atlantic Star, rapper Ms. Banks, progressive bluegrass mandolinist Sam Bush, singer Samuel T. Herring, musician Nellie McKay, singer Lane McRae, Lester Chambers of the Chambers Brothers, Hiro Yamamoto of Soundgarden, Jack Cassidy of Jefferson Airplane, and also the group Hot Tuna. Brian Pendleton of The Pretty Things, Lowell George of Little Feet, Roy Loney of The Flaming Groovies, Max Weinberg of The E Street Band, singer Peebo Bryson, Jimmy Destry of Blondie, Louis Johnson of The Brothers Johnson, Hillel Slovak of The Red Hot Chili Peppers, Mark Ford of The Black Crows, singer Liam Attridge, rapper Kia, Singer Nancy Jewel McDonough, rapper Lor Skoda, singer Mackenzie Mack, rapper Uno the Activist, singer Tag, singer Lou Bega, singer Ismael Izani, Randy Piper of Wasp, jazz saxophonist Bud Freeman, fiddler Pappy Wade Ray, Horace Key of the Tams, and composer Bill Conti. Artists who unfortunately passed away on April 13th include composer Johann Schmidt, who passed away in 1728 at the age of 63. Composer Giovanni Veneziano passed away in 1742 at the age of 59. Composer Gaetano Valeri passed away in 1822 at the age of 61. Composer Joseph Jelinek passed away in 1825 at the age of 66. Composer Franz Danzi passed away in 1826 at the age of 62. Composer Ferdinand Kauer passed away in 1831 at the age of 80. Composer Johann Schneider passed away in 1864 at the age of 74. Composer Carlo Coccia passed away in 1873 at the age of 90. Composer Caroli Thurn passed away in 1886 at the age of 68. Religious music composer Luis Aguirre passed away in 1928 at the age of 36. Big band leader Milton Brown passed away in 1936 at the age of 32. Composer Cecile Chamondale passed away in 1944 at the age of 86. Composer William Bell passed away in 1946 at the age of 72. Conductor Edward Van Beenham passed away in 1959 at the age of 58. Singer and actor Stanley Smith passed away in 1974 at the age of 71. 
Musicologist and harpsichordist Ralph Kirkpatrick passed away in 1984 at the age of 72. Jazz session drummer George Firestone passed away in 1984 at the age of 67. Country music singer Johnny Dollar committed suicide in 1986 at the age of 53. Composer Inglis Kundry passed away in 2000 at the age of 94. Piano player Johnny Johnson of Chuck Berry's band passed away in 2005 at the age of 80. Singer Johnny Lodry passed away in 2005 at the age of 59. Composer Tutti Camerata passed away in 2005 at the age of 91. Bassist Chi Cheng of the group The Deftones passed away after being in a coma for five years after being in a car accident. Chi Cheng passed away in 2013 at the age of 42. Horn player Bernard Kroll passed away in 2013 at the age of 92. Composer Stephen Dodson passed away in 2013 at the age of 89. Jazz flute player Jeremy Steak passed away in 2016 at the age of 73. Jazz guitarist Ryo Kawasaki passed away in 2020 at the age of 73. And marimba player and songwriter Gloria Parker passed away in 2022 at the age of 100. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is April 14th when, in 1936, singer Edith Piaf became part of a murder investigation in Paris, France, when her patron, nightclub owner, Louis Lepley, was murdered. 